Afrigo Band is a musical group in Uganda that has lasted for over 44 years. It is the longest lasting music group in the musical history of Uganda and has lasted since 1975. The band was formed by a group of eight musicians and was first officially launched on the 1st of November in 1975 at Bat Valley Bar and Restaurant, which is now known as Little Flowers and is located at Bombo Road in Kampala. Its founding members were Moses Matovu, Charles Sechanzi, Jeff Sewava, Paden Subuga, Paolo Serumaga, Fred Luyomba, Godfrey Chizito, and Anthony Cheyune. The members and their roles in the band are as follows. Matovu Moses, who is a founding member, a band leader, a lead vocalist, and a composer. Haman Sewanyana, who is a vocalist. Charles Sechanzi, a vocalist, a trumpet player, and a composer. Monsubu Legea Kiki, a vocalist. Joanita Kawalia, a vocalist and a dancer. Rachel Magola, a vocalist, a dancer, and a composer. Rashid Musoke, a member. Paulo Serumaga, a founding member. Godfrey Mwambara, also a member. Tony Sengo, a member. Tony Senkebeje, a solo guitarist. Fred Chigozi, a member. Peter Bazanye, a vocalist, Joey Tabula, also a vocalist, Frank Mbalide, a guitarist and a vocalist, Edmond Ganja, a guitarist and a vocalist, Sami Kasule, a bassist and a vocalist, Charles Busulwa, a vocalist, Eric Sabiti, a drummer, Julius Nshaba, also a drummer, Daniel Kagwa, a keyboard player. Isaac Zimbe, a drummer. Jacinta Wamboga, a dancer. Sarah Namionga, a dancer. And Aminio Rose, also a dancer. In 2015, in November, the band celebrated its 40th anniversary at Hotel Africana. During the occasion, the group used this opportunity to pay tribute to all its battered colleagues who had left the group over the years. Some of these members were Paulo Serumaga, Charles Sechanzi, Godfrey Mwambara, Mansu Bulegea, Tony Sengo, Fred Chigozi, Richard Musoke, Dede Magoro, Billy Mutebe, Rashid Musoke, Amigo Wava, Florence Ziwa, Harriet Impaji, Saulo Kaliba, and Livingstone Ibanda, who was commonly known as Don Kanta. According to the band leader, Mr. Matovu Moses, the group had started during President Idi Amin Dada's regime who had heard them playing and had loved their music. He then recommended them with a contract of being resident, the resident band. They had played and performed at Cape Town Villas until President Amin was removed from power in 1979. They have since then played at different venues like Gaba Beach, Club Obligato and many others. The group not only plays for its fans in Uganda, but occasionally travels on tours to Europe and USA to play for their fans in the diaspora. The band employs over 100 workers and has seen tra technological transitions over the years, moving from playing vinyl records, cassette tapes, compact discs, and now the digital formats and the internet where they promote their music from. 
They have dominated Uganda's music scene for over four decades and have released over 20 albums with over 200 songs. They have been recognized and have received various awards for their music that is not only beautiful but also unique and special to people who understand music. In 1999, Afrigo Band received a certificate of recognition from the Rotary Club of Kampala Central for its profound performance in the entertainment industry. In 2007, they received the Lifetime Award from the Pearl of Africa Music Awards. The band is still under the leadership of Moses Matovu, who has led it for over 40 years of successful music. In 2003, the group won an award from the Pearl of Africa Music Awards as the Best African Music Group. In 2004, they were nominated as the Best Music African Group by the Kora Music Awards. In 2008, the band did a soundtrack to the movie The Last King of Scotland, which was titled Nakaunde. They have done many more soundtracks for different movies over the years. In October 2021, the Afrigo band signed a new deal with the One Best Afrique, a Ugandan-based record label, while launching their new album titled Teddy Mubi. The chief executive officer of One Best Afrique revealed that the, past the partnership was to give Afrigo, Afrigo band the tools that would help to make their music loved even by the younger generation. They would do so by marketing, selling, and distributing their music to radio stations, TV stations, and managing their social media platforms so as to promote their music. The band has public appeal from not only corporate people like politicians and rich business people, but also the young generation, especially for its unique quality in their music. It is therefore not surprising that they are always on the number one list of different events that are often organized by different companies like Uganda Waraji and many others. They are always invited to perform at different music festivals, both in Uganda and other parts of the world. The Afrigo band never, never disappoints, for they always grace their passionate fans with fresh, fresh and unique sounds of live band. The Afrigo band has been and will always be the best music group that Uganda has ever had.